A couple of days ago on the channel, we unboxed the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and it was all very exciting, but we've had time to sit around and play with it over the past week or so. So here are the first impressions of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans. And now we've had time to play with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I feel like we can tell you what it is like to use, especially over the past week or so, because we've got to know the phone a little bit more. So here are the first impressions. The first thing that you notice about this phone is that actually, when you look at it, it is brilliant. It's a really nice phone to hold. That screen is big, it's bright, and of course, it can do 120 hertz, which is really noticeable, especially if you're coming from something that only does 60 hertz, like an iPhone, for example. It makes the whole experience of using the Note 20 Ultra just that little bit more premium. And it has to be because the price of that phone is also a very expensive price tag. So when you get it and you start playing around with it, you kind of get the reason why it is so expensive. The next thing that you kind of get to know and get to love is that S Pen as well. And an S Pen is something that a lot of people think that you don't need on a phone. But when you finally get a phone that has that S Pen support, it means you can do a lot more on it than you could previously. So for example, taking notes makes it a little bit more easier. Being able to use that S Pen to take some photos as a Bluetooth little connector makes things really easy as well. And the latency on this is almost non-existent. So it feels almost like you're writing on a bit of paper. There is a downside, of course, to the Note 20 Ultra, and you've probably seen it online over the past couple of weeks, but there is a bit of a problem with that battery life. So the Note 20 Ultra has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, but the problem is it doesn't last very long at all. Getting to the end of a day with some decent battery is actually really difficult, and it's even more difficult when you then put the 5G on and take Wi-Fi off. 5G seems to be something that really eats the battery on this Note 20 Ultra, and that's a shame because the 5G speeds that you can get are really impressive and really quick. I would say that you'd maybe have to charge this phone maybe once in the evening if you want to try and get to the end of a day. And for a phone that costs as much as this phone does, that is actually a little bit disappointing. Some other good parts of the phone though is the camera is very, very impressive. So the photos that it can take are extremely good. And also that zoom is incredible. You also get a really decent amount of base storage at 256 gigabytes, which is something that you will need because this phone can also record video in 8K, which is really, really impressive. The overall design of this phone is really nice as well. I really like this Mystic Black color. The only problem with this Mystic Black color and also the Mystic White color that you can get is they are not a matte finish like the Mystic Bronze that a lot of other people have got hold of. That means that fingerprints on this Note 20 Ultra are really easy to come by and a case might just be something that is handy if you're gonna pick up this color. The only other problem with this phone is that the camera bump is quite big, so when it's down on a flat surface, it will wobble quite a lot. That could be a little bit off-putting if you're someone that likes to use your phone quite a lot at work and it's down on the desk. That is it for the first impressions of the Note 20 Ultra. What do you like about this phone so far from everything that you've seen? Let us know in the comments below. Also, let us know if you've actually picked this phone up yourself and whether you're happy with what the phone can do for the price that Samsung are charging. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll make sure that you get a notification for every video that we put up here at Mobile Trans. You can also drop a like as well. So thank you very much for watching and then we will see you on the next video.